Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back. My name is Fizz, and we are back with another Arc Fjord video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how to unlock Fenrir. That is right. This is the new creature for the Fjord map. It's not like the other ones. You can't actually tame it or anything. We'll go over that in a couple seconds. But anyways, if you like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. Make sure you check on the top right for all the information for all the other videos. But anyways... Let's get started. Now, Fenrir is a very unique and interesting creature because you actually cannot tame it, you cannot breed it, and you have to earn it, which is really weird, but it kind of makes sense, but it's a little bit uh, kind of a hard work to actually get to it because you actually have to kill the final boss to even be able to get a cryopod of it. Now, based off my testing on single players, this may change with official server rates because I obviously can't test that. Um, he basically, you can be unlocked through any of the difficulties from the last final boss, and also its levels will change as well. But the problem is, obviously, you cannot breed it, so it's kind of just a trophy mount that will, if you get killed, you have to do the boss fights again. Which is pretty unfortunate in my honest opinion, and I am going to be making a separate video uh, to voice my opinion to Wildcard to make this creature officially breedable for people uh, that play on official servers and stuff because obviously the modding community is going to mod the shit out of it to be able to breedable. That's not a problem for PC users. But console people are going to be left out once again. So uh, make sure you guys check that video when that comes out. But anyways, let's now go over actually how you have to unlock because there's a lot of steps to even be able to even get this guy. So let's go through it. All right, so let me explain Fjord real quick because it actually has a proper progressive system unlike Gen 1 and Gen 2 and other DLC maps where you have to kill alphas to get something, then you have to use them to do mini bosses, then you have to go and kill other bosses, and then finally you can kill the final boss. I know, it sounds like a lot of work, but let me go through and break everything down for you guys. First thing you need to do is kill the alpha creatures that spawn on the map. Find them, you need to get these runes. Runes, if you remember in the modded map, were actually used to teleport to the different realms. Well, they have removed that, instead added them for a summoning region for summoning the mini bosses, that's right. Now, there is three mini bosses that you have to do. You need to do Haiti and Skull, they are together. Bela and then Steinbjorn. Each one of these summons requires 30 runes from killing the alphas. After killing all four of the bosses, you will get relics now that are new tokens for the next tier of bosses. Each one of these relics relates to the next tier of bosses only, so you don't need all four to kill just one of the bosses. But if you want to get Fenrir, you are going to need to kill each one of these mini bosses for these relics because you need to use them for the next tier of bosses, which we'll go over right now. Now, after you've completed the mini bosses, you have these relics to now battle the island bosses. So we have the Rune Mother, the Megapithecus, and the Dragon coming back once again, and you're gonna need to fight these guys to get to the next and final boss. Each one of these bosses requires a relic from the previous mini bosses uh, as follow, and I also will put on the screen as well all the information for summoning them. The difficulty kinda doesn't matter unless you want a better version. So obviously if you want a higher level version of Fenrir, you are gonna need to kill Alpha, but if you just wanna get him very quickly, you can do Gamma, but he will be less levels and obviously less stats. And there he is! It's Fenrir or Fenrir Ulfur. Uh, he is the last and final boss you need to defeat. You need to bring the heads from the island bosses to one of the rune stones in the sky or the orbitals and basically go and summon and to battle him. He's basically a normal fight. And after defeating him at whatever difficulty you've done him, he'll drop Fenrir Cryopod and some other goodies. All 
All right, so Fenrir, obviously, like I said in the intro, cannot be tamed and cannot be bred. Hopefully, that could be changed in the future. Um, it also does not have a saddle at all because it has base armor sa uh, saddle values. So it has a lot of base armor. And also, when you activate one of its abilities, you can be increased more armor with the lack of stamina when you get hit and also the lack of speed because it does reduce your speed quite a bit. Now, when you're next to creatures, when you use this ability, it actually can freeze them this is actually really really cool in my honest opinion uh, for an armor buff and also a freeze buff pretty damn cool other than the buff in the ice armor buff as well he has basically two attacks left click which is a basic wolf attack and then right click which is a ice bite attack which you can slow your enemies and do a small little snow dot i guess you can call it he does, however, get a pack bonus up to, I believe, four or five. So if you kill the boss five or six times, there you go. You can have a pack. But obviously, like I've said, it's kind of redundant that you cannot breed this creature. So, I mean, is anyone honestly going to use it? I don't think so, because it's too valuable to lose if you get it killed accidentally. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. All these videos have taken so many hours to make, and it's a pleasure to show you guys these finally. Uh, this creature, Fenrir, is very good. I just wish it's breedable, so hopefully we can push it for it to be breedable, because to be honest, I'm very sorry for the uh, unofficial players and also consoles. They will not be able to get one anytime soon. Probably <laughs> PC will probably get it probably like within a week let's be honest but anyways thank you guys so much for watching top right in the description down below if you want to check out all the other videos and i'll see you guys on the next one